Welcome back everyone and today we're going to be talking you through how to do a decontamination wash, what products to use and how to use the best processes to get the best results on this stunning Isle of Man green BMW. A lot of people make the misconception that when they see the water sheeting they think that the ceramic coating has died or is no longer performing. What we're going to do here is to carry out a decontamination wash of the entire area. We're now washing it with a G-Wash to remove the last remnants of dirt. As we're hosing off the suds, you can see the beading has come straight back, meaning that actually the coating is performing really well. It was just under a very thick layer of ingrained dirt. The first step in the decontamination process is to snow foam the car. When you're mixing the snow foam, make sure you put 100ml into the hopper and top it up with 900ml of water to give you a full litre of usable product. Now when you're choosing your snow foams, it's important to choose a foam that allows the dirt to be pulled down and off the paintwork. You don't want to pick a snow foam that's super thick and sticks to the paint. The idea of snow foams is you want them to get the dirt, surround it and pull it down the paintwork. And as you can see here, our snow foam is helping pull off that ingrained dirt. Once you've applied it, what you then need to do is let it sit and dwell for two to three minutes. Make sure it's pulling off all that loose grime and dirt, then give it a good thorough rinse to make sure you've removed all the remaining suds and surfactants. Once you've citrus foamed the car, the next step is to use the citrus all-purpose cleaner around the bottom of the sills, around the wheel arches and on the tyres. Now this is another citrus-based cleaner which is ideal for removing that really bonded on and caked on dirt, so it's great at dissolving dirt, mud and grime. What you want to do is coat the areas nice and liberally, give it a couple of minutes to work and then once that's happened all you want to do is just give it a good rinse off making sure you remove all residual product. The next part of the decontamination process is using the iron and fallout remover. This product serves two purposes, it's great to use on paintwork and even better to use on wheels. What you'll find is where it interacts with metal filings it starts to change purple. This essentially is showing you that it's breaking down those contaminants, meaning that they can be rinsed and cleaned a lot easier. You'll find it's much more pronounced on wheels because of the brake pads working against the brake discs, but you'll also find if you're in an industrial environment or the car is parked in an area where there are factories, there's still a lot of fallout that can hit and land on the paintwork. Once you've applied the product, let it sit for three to five minutes, and then if you're working on your wheels, you can use your wheel spoke brush to get into the back of the wheels, or if you've got intricate or detailed wheels, you can use a specific wheel detailing brush to agitate. Once you've agitated the wheels, all you need to do is just to get the pressure washer out and give it a good hose off, making sure you remove any suds and surfactants. Typically, if you're doing the paintwork and the wheels, we recommend hosing off the paintwork first and then moving on to your wheels. The last stage in the decontamination process is using the G-Wash shampoo. This is a pH neutral biodegradable shampoo that's great at removing the last of the ingrained dirt that's sitting on the surface. You'd use this in conjunction with a two bucket method and a wash mitt. Once you've got the shampoo solution mixed in, you can then use your wash mitt and wash from the top of the car down, always doing the bottom sills last. Once you've gone around the whole car and washed it, it's just as simple as get your pressure washer out, hose and rinse off all the suds, make sure you get rid of all the soap from the nooks and crannies. Once you've done that, you're ready to drive the vehicle. So the vehicle's now washed, it's clean, and we've brought it inside the G Technic Works. Let's put some protection down. Now applying the ceramic sealant is an optional step. You don't have to do it every time. If you've recovered that beading from just the decontamination process alone, that's fine. But if you want to top up that beading and that hydrophobic protection, ceramic sealant is a great way to do it. All you need is a couple of sprays per panel, get a clean microfiber, wipe over the area, flip the microfiber over and then buff off any remaining residue. There is an option as well to apply it directly to the microfiber. There's no right or wrong, but typically if you're applying it to a microfiber, it does give you a bit more control where you're applying the product. We've now applied the C2 ceramic sealant, so the car's got a good level of protection now for a few months. We've gone through the decon wash, what it is, what products you need, and hopefully you've all got a better understanding now of what products to use and in what order. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you again soon.